you see, here's the thing. This week, I'm not sure if I'm reviewing Bleach or if I'm reviewing Dragon Ball Z. Anyways, let's get into this. Hey everybody, what's going on? It's your boy Shin Megami X, aka your Captain Captain X, here to review Bleach Chapter 555 entitled The Hero. Alright, now, um, from the from is we didn't actually continue straight straight away from last week's chapter, we actually skipped back to the, um, the Soul Palace and where they were each going the Royal Guards. Um, all minus, um, what's his name again? Oetsu. Yeah, all the Royal Guards except Oetsu. So basically, each goes about to on his way back and he's got like a whole new gear like he looks like kind of like an arabian knight like it, have you ever seen that thing uh the side filler each go in the magic lamp it, yeah his, his outfit his new get up looks very similar to that and yeah it also reminds me of um ah oh, what's that thing called it reminds me of um the outfits that um they used to wear in one piece when they're in um the alabaster saga which is something that um charles enemy will pointed out in his review so shout out to him yeah all right now anywho moving on I thought this week's chapter was a very good chapter of Bleach for quite a few reasons. Um, basically, I did like that we kind of taken a deviation away from um, you know um, all the fights that have been going on. But I think for me, what the most amazing part of this chapter was to see what Bambietta can do in her holy form. Um, basically, as you can see within the power, she done like she released her holy form. You can see her looking with her wings and that, her next crown thing that she has on her head looking all epic and whatnot. And then. Basically, she sends a blast right to um, Shinji's, I think it's Shinji's arm slash face, like this region of him. Um, I'm going to say, I'm going to call this from now. I don't think Shinji's um, been killed. I don't think he's been blown up. I don't think he's received the Kira treatment. Nah, I don't think that at all. And a lot of people are saying that, oh, no, oh wow. Now she's released a hold of him. She's so powerful that they're all down for the count. They're finished. And I, was, and I, have, to, I have to beg to differ. And my reasons for that are this. You need to remember that um, Shinji, one, as far as we know, still has her under, still has her under his, the sheet, his ability of the Shikai. So therefore, he might, she might not have even hit for a start, because everything's inverted. Alright, secondly, you're all, all forgetting, Shinji has a Bankai, which is obviously more powerful than the Shikai. Which obviously can do a lot more damage naturally as Bankai as the Shikai's can. Also, on top of that, he is probably going to be one of the most effective characters to fight against Stern Riddles. Simply because, he's a visor. Visors have hollow powers. And what are Quincy's? Say it with me now more or less allergic to hollows so he has two additional power-ups while Bambiera is on, her, is on her maximum power so therefore and also you've got Komamura there as well so I wouldn't really count him out for the count I just mean all this says to me is that the battle is about to get a lot more intense I'm not saying that Shinji would batter her you know I'm not saying that Shinji you know would like you know beat her to a pulp or the battle be ended quickly no 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 I think it will be quite a, a drawn out battle because I think she's going to I think she's going to be considerably stronger and faster but due to Shinji's powers I think he will eventually gain the upper hand. Anyways, that's just my personal thoughts about it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And yeah. So anyways, um what we did see in the chapter is well, that Ichigo has matured quite a bit. And um, basically how Karin how Karinji says that oh he said, like, okay, we're no, Ichigo says to Karinji, okay, we're going to go back, let's take that. I don't know what it's called, but basically the rocky thing that shoots them up and down. And Karinji's like, oh, no, we can't use that um, too often, so you're going to have to take the stairs. And he said that um, if you use normal shrimp, it should take about a week to get there. And in his mind, he's like that, basically waiting for Ichigo to, um, you know, blow blow his head off and just go on a crazy rant. But Ichigo surprisingly doesn't do that. He's just like, okay, cool, let's go. Um, but what this reminds me of here is... <laughs> And it's in several reasons, it reminds me of um, the very first um, arc of Dragon Ball Z, or Dra yeah, Dragon Ball Z, where um, it's the Saiyan saga, where Goku had to travel along Snake Way to get down to the battlefield, and it took him about half a day. And Ichigo did stay in this chapter. That's going to take him about half a day. Okay, so what we also get here is we get a relative, we get an estimate of what Ichigo's speed can, uh, roughly what Ichigo's speed is. Although we can't measure it precisely in miles per hour. It is evident to see that, okay, something that would take travelling in normal Shunpo, so this is by a normal Soul Reaper, it will take them a week to get down to the bottom. Okay, so we can just, we can gather that it's exceptionally far. So it can say that it's roughly the same distance as Snake Way. Alright. Also, but well, I think it might be even a bit longer. So it's roughly the same distance as Snake Way. So Ichigo said that with if he tries really hard, which same thing like Goku did, he'll be able to get there in half a day. Whereas I believe it took Goku an entire 24 hours to get there. So we can deduct from this point here that Ichigo in his Shikai, moving as fast as he can, is twice as fast as Goku was at the beginning of the series. We can deduct that from this chapter straight away. But anyways, this isn't a Dragon Ball Z review. 
and this is what I was saying like in my premium to this chapter that this isn't a Dragon Ball Z review, this is a bleach review, so nonetheless let's get into this. I did like Ichigo's new threads and I always wondered like how he would um, you know, basically have his swords beside him or would they basically disappear and come to him. So we can see that Ichigo has the, you know, the main, um, the, whole, the around car part of his powers on his back, you know, the sword, the large big cleaver sword on his back like how he always did back in the day. and. He's got the little um, Bowie knife, which represents the Quincy powers on his on his hip, which seems to be like sheathed for a change. Which is like, whoa, okay, I never knew that'd be sheathed, but I think that's literally just due to um, Senjumaru is doing because you know she's the master of weaving. I'm guessing that she's the one that gave him all the robes as well, because remember from several chapters ago that she was fitting Renji for you know a new kimono slash get up or whatever. So yeah, I, it's pretty obvious to see that you know he got those that outfit from her, but I always thought the style of the outfit was very interesting. So. The way he's coming up in this get up, it kind of reminds me of when he, um, basically the soul site up, when he came to rescue Rukia, I was in a slightly different get up, and his get up was a bit unique. So it reminds me of that. So what I can see literally happening for the rest of the chat, for the rest of the series is that while Ichigo's going down, basically, um, the, sh the Shinigami are going to be getting their asses kicked. Minus the, with the exception of, um, the Visors, in my opinion. Obviously, feel free to disagree with me, but, you know, leave your reasons in the comment section below. So, that's my personal reasons, that's my personal thoughts about that. So I think the Vides are going to do pretty well, although I do believe that they're evidently, evidently going to be getting their asses kicked. Because it's evident to see how powerful the Quincy's have become due to, due to releasing the Vols standing. Alright, now, um, other than that we also see the call, we also, so we can see that this chapter, sorry, we can see that this chapter didn't continue straight from where the last chapter left off, it actually went a little bit backwards in time. Because basically, Ichigo, um, because when each goes on his way down, he now is speaking to Orohara, which is obviously where the phone call kick, kicked in and during the last chapter. And he's obviously explaining what happened and how he's on his way back and whatnot. He also says, says states to uh, says to um, Kisuke Orohara that basically, I know even though things might be getting tough down there, please don't do anything or like you know don't you know put up a fight really until I get there because I will definitely do something. So not only has Ichigo grown in strength, wisdom, and soul and spirit, he's also become exceptionally more powerful and it's evident to see from this chapter it's also become a lot more confident as well but that can be a good thing and a bad thing because sometimes being overconfident in battle can lead to your demise so anyways but i did like how ichigo has developed in terms of character and it's not just, i'm not talking just about power i'm talking about as a person because you know normally before he would have berserked and flipped out when karinji said i was gonna take you about a week um to get the back to get um you know to get down there even though the battle started three hours ago and you've been training here for three hours I think what the most significant part for me for this chapter was was when um, I can't remember the guy, I can't remember his name, but he said, but no, I think it was Hikafune said it was Hikafune who said that Ichigo's wavering Reyatsu has is now a thing is now just a distant memory. So that means Ichigo finally has control of his Reyatsu. So does that, does that now mean he's able to sense spiritual pressure a lot better? It, it means a lot of things. It means Ichigo has developed significantly. So now with him having better control of his spiritual pressure, there is no reason for him to not be able to learn new techniques. Maybe he has learned new techniques. I personally think he has. I don't think he's learned anything ridiculous like Kido because Ichigo's never really been a patient type. I don't see him having the patience for that. And the Ichigo's patience, lack of patience, I should say, is shown still in this chapter. When Ichigo, um, when, when, uh, I can't remember the, um, the board, um, Zero Division member's name says that, oh yeah, the battle started three hours ago. Ichigo literally rushed out and, you know, charged down there. So that just shows that his lack of patience still. And obviously, obviously also naturally that he's in a hurry. So, Anyways guys, uh, I think I covered all the points in this chapter, I think I'm, if I carry on I'll literally just be rambling and talking about pointless rubbish that you guys already know and I don't need to bore you guys with, but anyways guys, it's your boy Shimagami X aka Captain Captain X, I'm signing out, and as always my people, take care, peace, have an awesome day, you're dismissed.